no uh, writing a function is not competitive coding or all these companies are taking test on coding th that is not competitive coding please understand they are just trying to see if you can code that's it hello and welcome to musings by amit if you are new to this channel then my name is amit patel and you are watching musings with software engineer 3 years of my engineering doing competitive coding right i am late for competitive coding or learn skill like monster in data science see prafulla uh, <clears throat> i don't understand this philosophy about competitive coding because coding is not a competition coding is a way you are writing a program to build an application okay you can build a smallest application for example whatsapp 19 people were working in whatsapp when facebook bought whatsapp only 19 people okay this were the total number of people who built that whatsapp so just imagine how much coding code was required to build a chat machine okay so there was no it was the application so there is nothing like competitive coding if you are doing everything to build a really good application if you don't leave bugs in your code if you make sure the features you are building are very useful for the customers who are using the application if you are making sure that whatever user interface you design is proper navigation okay which is which is good to the eyes also and it is perfect with in all the cases okay then you are a good programmer or a good software engineer okay and you will get all the benefits of that there is no competition in coding nobody is looking at okay how fast you can write code if you can write a code very fast but your code breaks every time it's of no use so don't go behind all these competitive coding and all things you need to solve problems with code and you need to come up with the solution for the problems and sometimes the problems can be complex and you may have to write a very complex code to solve those problems and you should be able to write that complex code which can solve that problem right so there is nothing like competitive coding if you are thinking writing a function is a competitive coding no uh, writing a function is not competitive coding or all these companies are taking test on coding th that is not competitive coding please understand they are just trying to see if you can code that's it okay uh am i late for competitive coding since there is no competitive coding uh, i don't think you are late or anything you have 3 years of experience in that 3 years what projects you have done how you build your application that is more important than anything else okay once you join a company once you start working on projects then your next job will depend on the kind of project you have done and how you can explain the technology based on the project that you have done so if you are giving a interview for java programmer then if you have done a, pro a project in java and you can explain all the concepts in java based on your project then the next company will hire you and they'll say okay this fellow has done really good project in java he is able to explain everything in java based on his project which he's done in his company so he is a good java programmer let's hire him okay uh mon stack and data science <laughs> two different things so prafulla i think you have to first think about what you, what are your interest if you are interested in application development then you can learn mon stack because mon stack is a stack for uh, developing web applications it's a very useful stack for developing web applications if your interest is in developing web application then you can learn mon stack you can also use mon stack to develop data science based application applications which have data science related stuff in that application for example a covid 19 uh, worldometer can be developed with a mon stack or a python stack or a java stack 
okay any of these programming languages you can develop a world of meter which is a data science project which has data science machine learning artificial intelligence built into that project so that it gives the accurate figures of covid 19 patients around the world okay so you have to uh, understand that these are two different things data science is different mern is different and you can use mern to do a data science project but two different things okay so you will have to sit down and clear your mind think about okay what do i actually want to do what see it's called vision where do i want where do i see myself in 3 years if you say oh i should be uh, i should have built some xyz products kind of products then you have to look for those kind of company work for those company if you say that i should have uh, i should have xyz salary in a service based company then you should look for that you should you say i want certain sort position within a company or this level of engineer i want to be a level 1 engineer level 2 engineer then you work towards that that is your vision and then you work towards that vision okay nobody is going to give anything on your hand okay there is no free lunch you have to create your own path for your success is that okay everyone make sure that you subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you will get the update share my video as much as possible because i am targeting 100000 subscribers on my channel so thank you very much see you in the next live on thursday at 9:05 pm